Hello, welcome back to Crafty Leaks and I'm on my own again today but we are going to do an AliExpress haul and this is all the stuff that I got and if you can hear rain in the background I'm sorry we are at the moment having a bit of a rainstorm so it's coming and going coming and going so yeah just warning you in advance so this is my haul and we'll start with the book now this is a watercolor book um it says paul rubens i don't know if it is or whether it's a knockoff i have no idea but i'll leave the prices as we go along up on the screen for you so far there's like a few little sort of dents in the outside of it if you can see it there but otherwise yeah, pretty good so we'll just try and slip this off And this is what it says, um, Paul Rubens, cotton co-pressed, 20 sheets, 300 GSM, and it's 267 millimetres by 194 millimetres. And it's got a lovely cover to it. And it's not embossed, it's just, I don't know, it's just printed on, I think, maybe. And, ooh, okay, got that happening as we open it. So I very much doubt it's an actual proper book. Oof, that looks painful. Look at that. But we'll go with it and we'll see what these papers are like. Ooh, paper seems quite nice. Nice and thick. A nice texture. Um, perforated. You can see that there. Along there. Um, and then of course you've got the elastic. Let's have a look. You don't get the same problem from the back. So maybe I will work this way around instead of the other way around because that looks so painful the other way around. And it's literally wrecked it. You see? They've done this too tight. They should have gone down here with the paper. And then, yeah. So I don't think it's an official one. That's just me saying it. It could be. But, so we'll probably end up working this way around and then, well, or this way when I'm doing what I'm doing, which I don't know yet. So yeah, that's the book. Nice thick book. It's got that to hold everything in place. So we'll see how it goes. The next thing I got, which came a bit battered. This is the box it came in. Look how battered that looks. It was a little brush washer and... Um, like water because I normally use an old jar which I keep getting told it looks disgusting because it's paint all on the outside of it so I thought well let's have a look see if I can get something new something nice um, you know it looks quite nice sounds nice doesn't it so yeah and um, let's open this up how do we open it up like that okay so it seems quite airtight and watertight and there's a little, yeah, so I think you could possibly just use it for water. And then it's like a little, I suppose you can put, if you're doing oil painting or whatever, you can put your tips or whatever because it's metal. It's probably a bit safer, but I'm just using it for watercolours, acrylics and water soluble oil. So I don't use uh, normal oil. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. It's got a rubber seal. So I think that makes it watertight. Should we try it out? Let's try it out. Some water here. I think I've got a bit more there as well. Okay, definitely you're gonna need more than that. Let's have a look. Yeah, some more here. Okay. Oh, it's quite a lot of water. Let's put this lid on. And let's lock it in place. Um, have I got any tissue now in case it does leak everywhere? That's the question. I've got some baby wipes. They'll have to do. <laughs> so I'm going to get a couple out just in case. Right. Are we ready? Oh, look at that. Not a drip. So, yeah. So, that's pretty good. 
I'll be using that water now in a little bit. So I'll just put that to the side for a moment. And the next thing we're going to look at is this. Now we had the Hemi um, watercolour set I got for the last video. So if you haven't watched that, please go watch that. And while you're at it, if you haven't liked and subscribed before now, please do so because we're at three three something and i want to try and get to 400 by the end of the year i know it's not a lot to you know 400 isn't a big number but for us you know and that's what we want to try and get to so you know if you haven't subscribed before please you know think about subscribing and um, if not that's fine too <laughs> but anyway like i said we did this watercolor set and that's the last video so i thought we'll give these brushes a go so that's get into the oh goodness me we can hang on scissors time don't want to wreck anything that's the problem there we are move that out of the way okay so this is how it comes it's very similar to how the water colour set came take this off and what does it say on the box here if you can read it all the better and that's oh look at that oh, there's lights in there didn't see that we shall have a play we shall have a play yes we will so this is how it came and there's the brushes um, I've got batteries in there, but I think the batteries must have run out. Yeah, that's gone a bit icky. Right, got some batteries. So let's see if this works. Because they, because they. Goes there. Up oh, there we are. Okay. So I'll put that on there, and it lights up on the inside there. So I don't know what you to do with them, but there you go. So you can go like that, and then I mean you could craft it for something, couldn't you? Let's turn this. Try and turn the lights up in the room, but still daylight outside, so I'm not sure how bright you'll see it. There we are. That's rather, it's quite pretty. It's a nice idea because you can, you know, do something with this. Okay, lights back on. Where? Knock my vitamin tablets over then. That's not good. Right, so yeah, I think that looks very pretty. Okay, let's turn that off and let's have a look at the brushes. Okay, let's pull them all out. Ooh. Okay. I don't think I'll be keeping them in here because I just get tangled with the light. So I might actually do a craft project with this and we might do it on the channel so you can see what we can make with it. So yeah, we've got this one, that one, so the flat ones, and that one's flat. Okay, and then we got this one, angle brush, fan, round around, and um, oh, I forgot what the names of these are now. But there they are. Just like a, you know, there's no bristles out of place, so I don't know how well they're going to be. Quite soft, not too hard. So those are the brushes. Okay, just gonna pop this back in here. Let's see if I can do something. Make it like quite pretty, I doubt it, but <laughs> let's see. There we go. Leave that there for a minute. 
Okay, so those are the brushes. And the last thing, because obviously we've got water, we've got a watercolour book, we have brushes, so we need something to paint with. So voila. In here we have the, oh, I can't even remember what they're called. They're the colour change. Um, hang on, let me get the name for you. Okay, so these are called the Supervision Micro Chameleon Layered Colour Metallic Watercolour Paint Hand Painted Flash Pigment Pluescent Aquarellas Art. So it's basically, I think it's supposed to change colour. I'll put the advert up on a um, screenshot up on the screen for you. So we're going to give these a go today. And it comes with a sample water um water <sighs> a paint sample so you paint these pop them in and then you can keep it in the box and this is what they look like and they have been stuck on with like a glue dots i think but this is how you get them there's different ways of getting them but this is how i got them so we're gonna have a go with this today okay so I'm just going to get one of these brushes. Which one should I use? I'm going to use this one. And oh, actually, I'm going to spray the. Did I use all the water I did? Okay, I've got a tiny bit left in my spray bottle. So we'll give that a spray. Try and get it a bit activated, and then let's see how this looks. let's see it could be just that they need to activate a bit more so we're going to um, oh, let me get you into frame a bit better there like that I'm not going to go through all of them I think I'll just try and not on the paper of the year anyway I'll do the um, swatch sheet in a little bit and then we're going to leave that dry I'm going to do the swatch sheet and we're going to come oh, and I'll do another couple of colors let's try one of these and what about a Maybe a blue. There we are. We'll leave them dry. I'm going to go do the swatch sheet and we'll come back. Okay, I've filled out the sample card. Most of it's still wet. Um, but if you look, you can see there is like a mica powder, I think it is, amongst it. And it sort of shifts the colour. And you definitely need to do it because... They do not match a lot of them will not match the pan i mean if you look at this one here you get like a peach color but look at it in the pan and similar to there was some of the ones that i thought um this one is that one and that one is that one and it's doing my head in i'm confused these are how they've dried out on here and look at that look how oh it's like the two tones. Can you see like the two tones in things? I mean, the green, eh, not so much. This one's got like a two tone. This, I um, don't know if you can see that with the light. Hopefully you can pick it up. So while I was doing these, the sample card, I thought, what am I going to paint? What am I going to paint? What am I going to paint? And then as I was doing this, I was thinking, you know, this is like magical. So I thought, I'm going to go for the magical theme. So I thought there was either going to be something like potion bottles and a bit of like magic that way or to do some sort of like fairy glade type thing. Um, so I think I'm going to go for that. And I just wanted to show you the water as well. If you look, can you see the pearlescence on the top? Can you see that? <laughs> Very magical. So we're going to do some drawing and then we're going to do some painting. 
Okay, I've done out a light sketch. Um, I don't know how this is going to go, but I basically this is going to be sort of like a pond, a bit of a glade, trees, and of course I'll have to put my little mushrooms in. So we're going to get on with the painting and I'll come back to you in a little bit. <laughs> So this is what we created. The downside is I didn't have many dark, dark colours. So I ended up using a pen to try and outline, which I think mucked it up a bit, but it gives you a general idea. Um, hang on, let me just move this stuff. I can give you a bit of a better look at this. Um, I don't know if you can see now, you can see how it shines. It's got the mica powders and there's like certain changes in colours. I think it's a very interesting thing to paint with. I don't know if it's uh, as colour shifting as I thought it was going to be. Yes, it, it's there. And you can see the colour shift in certain colours like this here now. Um, I painted in the same colour. So you've got like a colour shift going from like a darker purple to like the lighter pink. Um, same with the gold. I put the gold on a lot thicker. And that's what gives you this um, uh, more metallic look. But all in all, it was quite fun. I'm not sure I'd get any more. This set that I got, I think, is quite enough to play around with. Um, and like I said, it's, you know, you can see the colour shifts in some of them. Uh, this is still wet. I don't know why that's still wet. Let's see if I can get it to dry off a bit. Um, so yeah, so you can see the colour shift here. There's more of a colour shift in like the pink with a bit of gold. There with the gold. Um, there's like a purple. And this one is quite nice. So yeah. Um, it didn't colour shift as much as I thought it was going to. As you'll see from the screenshot that I gave earlier on, it looked like there was a bigger colour shift. But it's still got a colour shift. And so, yeah, here's my little magical fairy glade type thing. Forgot to mention how wonderful I think the brushes were. They absorbed the paint nice, went down on the paper, lovely, easy to use, kept their shape fantastic got to mention that so let's get back with the rest of the video this pot absolutely brilliant i think it's great still no leakage carry it around take it around so i cleaned the brushes pretty well although the brushes are stained um it was great for cleaning them off and still got this so um, like i said we may come back with a craft video where we might do something with this i don't know what 
Um, the book itself, the paper didn't buckle too much. So the paper's pretty good. Like I said, the book, I think it's itself is a dupe. I don't think it's the real one. But, um, you know, it, it's pretty good for what it was. I'm quite happy with my AliExpress haul. And if I was to say for something to buy, it would be one of these. It is brilliant. Really, really good. I'm happy with that. And I think it's going to be nice and easy to keep clean as well. So we'll see. A couple of months time, we'll see if this is still clean. So thank you for coming on this journey with me. And like I said earlier, please, if you like the video, give it the like button, a little push. If you haven't already subscribed, please think about subscribing. And we'll see you next time on Crafty Leaks.